Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. My name is Somil Shah, I work as a lead data engineer. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to take snapshot or save points of your data lake on regular basis using Glue 4.0. So let's talk about how to do that. So let me share my screen. So this is what we are about to learn. Disaster recovery. Disaster recovery is a very mission critical for any software especially when it comes to data system, the impact could be serious leading to delay in business decision or even wrong business decision at times. Apache Hodi has two operations to assist you in recovering data from your previous state that is save checkpoints and restore. This video focuses on basically save checkpoints, which means anytime you ingest the data when you're doing a bulk ingest, we recommend you to essentially perform safe checkpoints on a regular basis, which means if something goes wrong, you have the flexibility now to roll back to a previous version. Just like, you know, GitHub, right? You will essentially make your commits and you can roll back to the older commits. It's almost similar to that. So let's get started with the video. I have a wonderful lab which will teach you all the concepts in a very nice way. So I try my best to teach everybody about stuff over here. So the first thing that we need to do is over here, I don't need to explain because these are simple import statement. Over here, I'm creating a simple Spark session. So again, pretty self-explanatory. Um, again, I don't think I need to explain anything in this video, uh, this part about. Over here, I have a class called data generator. This will generate certain fake data points. Again, it's using a library called Faker. So probably I don't need to explain you anything in this part as well. Uh, these are the settings. Um, basically, we are going to use copy on write for the demo. The method would be bulk insert. This is my uh, path to my data lake. Uh, in my data, my uh, unique identifier or a primary key would be employee ID and the pre-com key is used for dedupe purposes when an in incoming batch of record comes. I'm using a timestamp for now. These are um, basically standard hoodie configuration. I'm using hive sync. So here is the magic part that we are doing. So first I'm essentially appending to the data lake. Remember anytime you basically write code and commit to the GitHub, you get basically uh, the commit code, right? Essentially a code, right? It's something similar to that, okay? So I'm essentially writing to my data lake over here and then observe here what we are doing. Again, I'll show you the screenshots and actual demo as well, so don't worry. So I'm calling a function, a stored procedure in Apache hoodie called uh, call show commits. I'm passing in the database name and the table name and I'm using the number five, which means I'm telling hoodie, hey hoodie, please show me the latest five commits that you have. Out of that, I essentially take all the commits as a list attribute, right? And then what I'm doing is I'm calling a stored procedure which Apache hoodie has called create save point, which takes a database name, a table name, and the latest commit again uh, here would be the here are basically the you know uh, list of commits in an in an array right or a list element and dot zero will essentially take the latest one after that i execute the query right i'm executing this sql stored procedure right after that um, i'm essentially calling a stored procedure called show save points this allows you to see all the save points that you have and if needed you can roll back again this video focuses on uh, teaching you how to take backup or save points on regular basis so very si simple right first we essentially see all the commits we grab the latest commit and then essentially we create a snapshot again i have all these print statements so hopefully this will make sense so again the code is pretty straightforward we are generating certain fake data and every time you write the data into apache hoodie uh, we are also taking um, save points uh, or checkpoints you want to call. So let's get started. So I'm going to copy this code. Uh, we'll head over to AWS Glue. So what you want to do, uh, I'll show you the steps probably. You want to click on Spark Editor over here. Click on Create and paste in the code that will be given on the GitHub section. Okay. Once you're done, I'll just go to the job section. Now, uh, I do want to let you know that uh, Glue 4.0 supports Apache Hodi out of the box, right? So you, you can leverage that. So we're going to do that, right? I gave the Python file called Hodi call proc uh, Glue 4, right? Uh, gave it an IM role, the type as Spark. 
uh, over here I selected the glue version as 4.0 G or next I'm using two workers for now again it's just a demo and if I come on the all the way on the bottom these are the three settings I have added these are important I'm using a Python library called Faker. Again, we're generating certain fake data to show you, right? Data lake formats at Sudi, and this is important. This is where the magic happens, right? If you give this incorrectly, probably you're gonna get an error. So these are the cons, right? So basically, if I had to just quickly show you by breaking that into a multiple lines. These are all the configuration that I have, okay? So this is important, okay? Now what I'll do is basically I'm gonna run uh, I'm gonna basically run the job. So this will anytime you run the job if you keep uh, running the job it's gonna execute certain fake data points into your hoodie and every time it's gonna take the backup is what I want to see. Meanwhile this is running I have a slide that I would love to show you. So here you can see uh, when I did show commit hoodie db dot employees five this sh showed me basically all the five commits and the top one is the la latest one right. Then what I did is basically I said create save point for my table and then I gave it a commit uh, time and as you can see uh, the save point was added. Now when I execute the code I should see three save point in my log section okay. So let's wait for a second or two for this to complete. Before this uh, video uh, I had two of them so when I now execute I should see three of them okay. That is the expectation uh, over here. And if you really like these videos, uh, please make sure to give a like uh, to the video and share these videos with your coworker and colleague uh, if possible. So again, my job is running uh, still. And this can take about a minute or two roughly. Yeah, about one minute uh, roughly. It inserts 100 data points uh, every time you run the glue job, okay? Now, personally, I really love Glue because it has a lot of amazing features out of the box. Orchestration, scheduling, uh, logs, uh, downloading external Python libraries, right? So Glue offers a lot of things out of the box, right? Again, if you are um, a company who's invested in big data, like, and if you're using EMR, again, the same code applies there as well, okay? That's, that's, that's what I wanted to sh uh, say. Again, I'm simply waiting at this point, uh, probably one minute, 34 seconds, could take about a while. Again, I'm still waiting for this script to complete. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the output files and probably I'll see the log files shortly, okay? And I will see the next one. And here you can see, I, I do see that. Observe, uh, if possible, pay, pay, pay a close attention over here and I wanna show you that. Just before the YouTube video, I essentially, uh, again, if you observe this, uh, the last save point that I had was 2.4 and now since I ran the glue job, I have the, the latest save point as 5.1, which means tomorrow if something goes wrong, I have the flexibility to roll back to a previous checkpoint. That way, you know, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, something bad happening, uh, 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 you know, or some sort of bad incident, right? So that is it for the video. This video is short and sweet to the point uh, which covers how to take uh, save points or checkpoints, how to call stored procedure and how to use this in Glue 4.0. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. The source code and the conf, everything is found on my GitHub section. Please make sure to download and give a star on the GitHub repository if you believe I've done a good job. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.